Hello, my name is Lena Shah and I'm a developer at Oracle working on the content management headless samples. Today I'm going to show you how to build a block sample in Flutter using Oracle Content and Experience as a headless CMS. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is clone this repository in GitHub. This is the Flutter block sample that is already set up to use Oracle Content Management. First, copy the URL, then open up a command prompt and type in git clone and the URL of this repository. You can open the sample with the code editor of your choice. I will be using Android Studio. First, let's install the dependencies for this project. Go to pubspec.yaml file. Here you will see a command pubget. Click on it. This will install the dependencies for this project. The dependencies section in this file lists all the dependencies the sample has. The assets field uh, specifies where you will find your images. Now that the dependencies are installed, let's take a look at um, the configuration file. Go to lib, config, and oce.dot file. This file, oce.dot, contains an object to store configuration information about the Oracle Content Management Server. The server listed in server O is a public Oracle Content Management Server. The channel token is what will be used by Flutter to authenticate into our Oracle Content Management instance. Now that the dependencies are installed, let's try running the sample in an emulator. I had already set up an emulator using the AVD manager. So I will select that emulator, select main.dart, and then hit run. Let's go over to the emulator here and see the sample in action. Here the home page is fetching a content item of the type OCE Getting Started home page, and that contains a list of topics along with the company logo and some URLs. A topic is of the asset type OCE Getting Started topic, and it has a thumbnail field along with a name and a description. When you click on one of the topics, you will see a list of items that are of the content type OCE Getting Started article. When you click on an article, you will see the article content along with the author details, which is of a content item of the type OCE Getting Started author. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the code behind this. All of the source code for this sample resides in the lib folder. First, let's take a look at lib, networking, content.dart file. The REST API for content delivery provides access to published assets in Oracle Content Management. Published assets include content items and digital assets, as well as their renditions. We can now leverage the Oracle Content Management REST API to fetch content so that we can render it in our block Flutter application. This file has methods for connecting to the server specified in oce.dart file using the REST API and returning the response from it. This file also has helper methods to retrieve renditions for an asset. Next, let's take a look at services.dart file. This file contains all of the code necessary to get the data for the application. Here you will find methods that encapsulate calls to the REST API and return the results back to the Flutter widget to be rendered. For example, here is a fetch homepage method which constructs the REST API call 
to fetch items of the type OCE Getting Started homepage. Similarly, the Fetch Articles constructs the REST API call to fetch items of the type OCE Getting Started article and belonging to a specific topic. Next, let's take a look at main.dart file. This is a starting point for Flutter app execution. Dart programs have an entry point called main, which is defined in this function. And in this case, the main function is calling Flutter specific function called run app. Run app takes a widget as an argument. And here we can see that the argument being passed in is my app, which is a stateless widget defined in the same file. My app overrides the build method and returns a widget object. Within the widget object that is returned, we define all the configurations on how the app should look like. Here you will also note a home field, which is pointing to my home page, which is another stateful widget defined in the same, same file. My home page build method returns a custom widget called topics list, which is defined in screens topic underscore list dot dot file. Topics list is a stateful widget that defines a method called fetch data. This makes a REST API call to fetch the data for the home page. Once the data is fetched, it is called it is stored in the by using set state method. Calling set state in a stateful widget in Flutter causes the build method to be called, which causes the UI to be rendered. Here we see that the build method uses another widget called topics list item. This widget is declared in components topic underscore list dot item dot dot. In topics under in topic uh, list item, we see that there is an on tap gesture detector that allows you to navigate to articles list. In Flutter, a route is just a widget. This sample uses the navigator to navigate to a new route. In this sample, we want to provide three routes, the home page, which shows a list of topics, the topic details, which displays all the articles for a given topic, and finally, an article details page, which displays the article content, along with other information about the article. The widget in topics underscore list or dot file is responsible for rendering the home page. The articles list dot dot serves the screen for the specified topic, and the article dot dot serves the page for the specified article. When you click on a topic, the request is handled by the widget located at articles underscore list dot dot file. The fetch data method calls the method from services dot dot, passing it the topic ID. When you click on an article, the request is handled by the widget located in article dot dot file. The fetch data method here calls the method from services dot dot, passing it the article ID. Let's revisit the block sample in the emulator once again. As you can see, here is the home page that is being rendered by the topics underscore list dot dot for widget that we saw earlier. A click on the topic will make a request for articles in a specific topic, which is handled by the widget defined in articles underscore list dot dot. Similarly, a click on an article will make a request for an article which is handled by the widget to find an article dot dot file. Well, that's it from my end. Thank you for watching this video about how you can use Flutter in conjunction with Oracle Content Management as a headless CMS to build and implement a blog app. You can find more samples like this on our headless Oracle Content Management documentation pages. 
Have fun building.